Another um, very commonly asked question that we get at the Prion Center under the foundation gets this question a lot is, is there any association with COVID-19 and prion disease? Is that to explain for the increase in incidence that you're seeing and, um, or increase in cases, I should say, that you're seeing in 2019? Right. So as far as we know, COVID-19 really didn't hit the scene until late in 2019. Uh, you know, I, I saw a report today that they believe maybe it was circulating in the United States sometime late 2019 or thereabouts. But realistically, there's no biological explanation that I can think of that would relate prion disease to COVID. And that goes for the vaccine as well. Uh, we've received the question several times uh, where someone has received the vaccine and unfortunately come down with prion disease symptoms shortly afterwards, maybe a few days, maybe a few weeks. Um, but the two messages that I give in these situations, one is, again, the biological plausibility just isn't there. And two, the fact is over 85% of the older population in this country has received the vaccine now. And unfortunately, some of that older population is going to be diagnosed with prion disease this year. So the odds are in favor of there being onset of prion disease in some individuals who have recently received the vaccine. Uh, so no connection that I'm aware of. And, and really, I consider it like the New Brunswick case to not really be a prion issue. We, we do get a lot of questions about, uh, you know, so-and-so received a dose of the vaccine and then, you know, later that week, uh, they started developing symptoms of CJD. And of course, at least for the majority of vaccines, these are dual, dual dose vaccines. Um, I guess, is, is there a statistical likelihood that you would expect a certain number of people would develop sporadic CJD after um, a dose of a vaccine just by your chance alone? Yes, I, I don't have an exact number to give you, unfortunately, but, but certainly um, there would be a number of individuals that would come down with sporadic CJD symptoms uh, within a certain time period after that dose. And uh, like I said, I don't have a, a hard number to give you, but it wouldn't be out of the blue or, or unusual to see that occur.